We're here in cell four of the B-Wing of the Detention Center on 49th Street. Joining me is Paul Sacco, Director of Real Estate Management. Now, why are we here, Paul? We're here to demonstrate the new water conservation devices that we have installed here at the facility. Okay, so why are we concerned about water conservation at detention? Well, the county has always been focused on energy conservation, but water conservation is just as important to the county. Mm -hmm. So these devices prevent multiple uses within a given period of time, is that correct? That's part of the, part of the reason why they're installed. Mm -hmm. um, these devices, like you mentioned, will cut the time down that they're actually being used. Um, on lavatories, we have low flow units that are actually on showers, mm -hmm. and then a lower flush unit for, for the toilets here in the facility. Okay, and so would you mind demonstrating sure. what we're talking about? These are touch tone buttons where before we would actually have faucet handles that you would see traditionally in your home or, or in the office. And it's just a simple press of the button. These devices would actually run for about 20 seconds before they time out. And like I said before, the, you know, the inmates could actually run these devices for an unlimited amount of time. Mm -hmm. So it really helps our control on water. And when you control the water, it also cuts our sewer costs because we're billed for water coming in and water going out. Mm -hmm. So these are electronic devices placed uh, in, on the pipes, or how does that work? Yeah, they're electronic uh, devices are actually wired to valves that are on the pipes, and the pipes are located in a pipe chase outside the actual cell, so the inmates can't get to them. Mm -hmm. What is the cost savings for the county? Well, total implementation of this project cost savings will be about $450,000 a year, which translates into about 45 million gallons a year saved. And you were telling me earlier that any project that pays for itself within a certain, uh, less than five years? Right, any, any energy or water conservation project that, that we evaluate, if it's less than five years, it's pretty much a slam dunk. We're gonna find the money and go ahead and do those kind of projects. Okay, and this is going to be uh, installed detention facility wide, is that correct? Correct, uh, we have you know the main facilities like we're in today. Uh, we also have outbuildings with some of the barracks but what's important is these devices can be in, installed in single cells like we're in right now, but larger cells where you may have pods of people ranging anywhere from you know, four, six, eight, up to probably 32, 48 people. Mm -hmm. So it's a cost saving all across the board. Yep, it, it'll save us money on water sewer and it saves us money on, on maintenance. Uh, anytime that we can uh, reduce the amount of maintenance in these cells by not having to unplug toilets or or fix sinks or showers. It's a dual benefit and it reduces our operating costs on the maintenance side as well as on the utility side. Mm 